I would have preferred for that to have been up close, but every once in a while we run into this where something might be a little bit twisted, but you know, uh, it is timber frame and it is hard to get all of that uh, out of lumber like this right here. Um, and the sawmill, if it's not exactly true, which that one has been doing a great job, it might pose a little dip every now and then, but um, so far we've had really tight joints.
Hey guys, well it's finally up uh, and done. Um, it has taken us basically four and a half days to get all of these logs. Uh, actually all the posts, all the beams and everything, uh, including the ridge beams up there. And we'll take you around and sh give you a little uh, tour, so to speak, of this in just a second. But um, yeah, it's taken quite, quite a lot of work in the last, like sun up to sun down. And, uh, but we did manage to get it up and just want to say also <clears throat> this structure doesn't have a single nail in it. It's all been put together with wooden pegs and it's all mortise and tenon. Um, and it's just not something that's done uh, too much anymore. So um, it kind of looks like it's overkill, but it is a structure that will stand a long time. We were just teasing. My neighbor came up here a while ago. We were teasing about... Uh, he said if a tornado came up here, it would probably have to stop and circle a little bit. And uh, then he was talking about the snow and the weight of the snow. And he had concerns whether the roof would be able to hold up. But it was all a joke. It was something that I hadn't done. It was a challenge. And i um, kind of glad that I took the challenge because I can say now that I have done a timber frame. I mean, I still have the walls to put up and the floor and the roof. My next project will be cutting the rafters. We're going to pick the camera up and kind of take you around and let you see a little bit of the work that we've done. Right here is a typical joint. This is a three-way beam here, beam on the back side, and, and right here you can see that these are 5 8 inch uh, wooden pegs and they were drilled all the way through the thickness of this and driven in and then basically cut off on all three of these. Uh, if you put a four-way in here you kind of have to go in at an angle with your pin but Still, you know, this whole structure, like I said, doesn't have a single nail in it. It's all uh, mortise, tenon, and wooden pegs. This right here is how I fasten the post to the footer. This is basically an anchor pin right here that I drove in. Uh, I think they were four inches long and had this angle iron made. And then we have a through bolt here that goes to the other side, basically. And this is how it's attached to the footer. I've got these 2 by 4s on here temporarily bracing the whole structure, keeping it level, uh, because I didn't have enough time to cut the major braces, which actually go in these holes right here. You can see this has been cut out. There's one up top there that's been cut out. This will brace it this direction. Then I've also got one here and one over there that's been cut out. So there's several that I need to cut, and they actually look like this over here basically what one of the braces looks like. It'll have a tenon on this end and a tenon on the opposite end. Let's see if I can turn it over where you can see it. Um, that's what it looks like and those will slide in there and then of course in the corner that's where it will be drilled through and the wooden pin will go in here to capture that. I think I have to cut 12 of those. Uh, for the house. You can see that I still have quite a bit uh, left that I have to burn and the reason that I did it that way was it was taking too long to burn it on the ground so I said well while we've got help let's just go ahead and put it up and I can continue to burn it which uh, quite a bit of that was done today. Anyway so we bur we did what we could on the ground primarily except the, the uh, bottom of the post. We'll go back and get those later. I climb up on the ladder and finish doing the upper portion, but <clears throat> anyway, is uh, for the most part it it is up and completed. Maybe this might help if you guys have an interest in doing anything like this. Um, you know, I may not have done it like some other people, but this is the way I decided to do this one. So hope you guys enjoyed this little series on how we put this cabin together. Um, it is getting late and it's getting a little chilly outside, so. We just want to wish everyone a great evening. Take care, be safe, and we look forward to seeing you up here at the outpost in the future. Thank you.